Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I can't. Okay, calm down. Calm your nerves. What is wrong with you, Brother Peter? What has come over you? I mean, what is the matter with you? Why on earth will a Christian like you be beating up your wife to the effect of pushing her out of the house, naked? John, John, you are too young to understand, eh? Even the Bible made it very clear to us that if a tree refused to be a fruit, we'll cut it off. How can I be married for five good years without a child? Eh? Hey, Tell me. Brother Peter, five years is not too much for you to fight and kill each other. Look at me. I spent more than five years. And God bless me with children. God can do it for you too. Please ask him. I might want to make myself pregnant. You, Brother Peter, you don't need to deal with her. She asked an important question. She's not the one to make herself pregnant. Put something into her, and she will bring something out for you. Morten put the baby into her, and she will deliver a baby. To What's your business in this matter, Mrs. Okara? Eh? Do you know how many times I've asked her to follow me to church to see his holiness, but she refused? You're always asking me to see your pastor. Is he the one to make me pregnant? Bam, bam, bam. Eh? It's okay, Madam John. It's okay. Stop escalating matters. I mean, it's not everything your husband says that you will always reply back at. It's something for no. once. No, no. Leave her. Let her answer me back. Talk. Talk. It's okay. It's okay, too, Brother Peter. What's going to be? Uh -uh. You ought to have known that the strength of every woman lies in their mouth. Moreover, you're a worker in the church, and you should live by example. You should live a life worthy of emulation. You should be the one counseling others, and not otherwise. Please calm down. Let's return back to our various apartments. This son is too hard to start making troubles. Ah! You, you make me sad. Please, go down. Go down. Ah! What is all this? I've been married to my husband for seven years now without a child. Until someone introduced us to the new church. My first encounter with the man of God did the miracle. Now I am three months pregnant. If God can do that for me, what about you? Your husband and my husband work in the same church. That makes it easier for you to see the man of God. Vivian, my friend, I don't know why my mind doesn't accept this man and his new church. Something keeps telling me he's not real. You don't have to say that of His Holiness. This is blasphemy. I can't introduce you to a wrong place. Your husband cannot belong to a wrong place, you know. Heaven help those who help themselves. You have to help yourself. I'm telling you this because you're my best friend. I understand. But I'm confused. I don't know who or what to believe. A lot of things have been said about this new church and the pastor. A lot was said about Christ and his disciples. He was mocked, disgraced, and was crucified on the cross of Calvary for 2019 years after his death and resurrection. The whole world of worshiping and praising him, worshiping and praising the man they never knew was on earth with us. So my dear, don't make the mistake our people of old made. Thank you so much. Well, I'll give it a thought. Thank you. All right. Take care of yourself, okay. yeah? Bye. Why are you drinking yourself to stupor because of stubbornness of a woman? Why, Peter? I'm done with my one bottle. And you are already done with four bottles and you're still on the fifth one. Why, Peter? What is wrong with you? What is the matter? This is more than a woman's stubbornness. Really? I've been married for five years. Five good years, no child. No one to run and welcome me when I'm coming back from work. No one to say, Daddy, 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 what did you buy for me? No one. No one. Mine was seven years, you know. But she's pregnant now. Yes, yeah, she's pregnant. And yours will be pregnant too. Listen, Peter. Let's allow his holiness to do the miracle. That is the problem. How? Oh. She has refused to follow me, go see our holiness. Why? She said. She said it's fake and a froster. Jesus Christ! That's blasphemy, you know. I mean, I mean, what is wrong with your wife? No one speaks of his holiness in such a manner. 
Now you see the reason I had to lay my hands on her. You see the reason that I had to beat her until she ran out of the house with just pant and bra. I think your wife needs deliverance. I think she's possessed. That is it. You just said it. That is it. Yes. And do you know what? Possessed. I'll beat the demons out of her. I'll beat her so she either run back to her parents or follow me go see our holiness. Come on, Bina. It, it hasn't got into that, okay? Man, uh, uh, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. It's okay. I'll talk to my wife. Um, she'll see what she can do. She'll talk to her. And definitely, she'll make out time to see his holiness.
Yes. I am a man. And I am here. I am here so that the blind can see. The deaf will hear and the dumb will speak. The gospel, according to St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 1. And when he had called unto them his disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and heal all manners of sickness and all manners of disease. Let me say something this morning. The lame will walk. The people will walk today. Those that are seeking the food of the womb will go home tonight pregnant. The poor and the needy will go home tonight rich. Now, all of you stand up. Father, your children are gathered here right now. And we are offering you this prayer. Different people with different problems. Those that are seeking the fruit of the womb. Those that are lame and they want to walk. The blind will like to see. Those that are poor and downtrodden so that they can become rich and enjoy the best things in life. All this we pray in Jesus' name. It's okay, baby. It's okay. 
I believe you will be fine. Uh, it's okay. Stop crying. Where will you be fine? Where? You know what? I think we should invite a prophetess. Since the native doctor cannot cure him, let's invite a prophetess. Prophetess of the white Ghana job. Yes. Yes. There is one along the street. Who knows if the solution we are looking for is around the corner? Why did you say so for me? I'll be fair on calling the body again, Pastor. Baby, listen. Let's just give, give, give the prophetess a try. Let's just give it a try. <coughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> Devil likes it or not, you will get pregnant. You will. You will get pregnant. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. You have just been anointed specially. Trust me, you will get pregnant. Thank you, Pastor. Yeah, have a good day. Good afternoon, your holiness. Good afternoon. Why did you shut the door against them? I'm sorry, your holiness. That is not what I mean. Leave the door and come inside. Why did you shut the door against a set of twins knocking at the door of your womb? I don't understand your holiness. Are you not here because you want a child? That is why I'm here, your holiness. That is why you're here. Yes, Your Holiness. You are the one stopping yourself from having a child. Right now, I see a set of twins crying and begging for you to have them. What is my name? Emmanuel, Your Holiness. And what is Jesus' other name? Emmanuel, Your Holiness. Do you believe he can do anything through me, if I'm sick? Yes, I believe, Your Holiness. Are you ready to do anything that I ask you to? Uh, Your Holiness, I'm ready to do anything. Anything, Your Holiness. Why did you 
that child from church without waiting to see his holiness. She didn't tell me that anyone that comes to church must wait to see him after service. I am not saying anyone that comes to church must wait to see him after service. The person that have one problem or the other waits to see him after service for special prayers. For special prayers? Yes. Is the one he prayed for everyone in church not special? What do I need to see him behind closed doors for his special prayers? What's wrong with you, Joy? Why are you heady and stubborn? I'm not heady or stubborn. I'm just making a common sense. What sort of common sense are you making? What sort of common stupid sense are you making? Let me ask you. Why are you afraid of having a child? Why are you afraid of motherhood? Or is there something you're not telling me? Is there something I need to know? Who told you I'm scared of having a child? Who told you I'm afraid of motherhood? Do you think being childless for five years after being married to you makes me happy? Do you think seeing my mate with two or three children makes me happy while I have none? And if you're not happy, then go see him first thing tomorrow morning. Okay, I will see him. But whatever that comes out of it, don't blame me. Just go. I will not blame you. The prophet of Israel. Let them come in then. Is it outside the person they came to heal is?
I don't understand. I mean the person with unclean spirit. Look at him before. Oh, this one. The scale is too small for me to handle. Ah, Eli, 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 Eli. Who then give us our bala? Makawa. Who do first heal him before collecting your balance? Bring it! I will leave here now. Mm. stubborn and jealous spirit husband that is why you have never been pregnant but it all ended the moment you stepped into this office amen he makes love to you in your dreams with different faces yes pastor and when your real husband makes love to you your mind is never always there yes pastor spiritual cleansing. Be fast about it because it is going to be a serious warfare. I'm sorry sir, I can't do that. The only person I take my dress off is for my husband. But you do take your clothes off for your spiritual husband. My friend, you are very stupid. You think I'm one of those women you can take advantage of? I may be in the need of a child, but it hasn't got to the extent of sleeping with another man. Be a pastor and imam. You slapped me. You slapped me, His Holiness. I will slap you again if you talk too much. Dog, that is what you are. Church dog. Whoa.
Okay, I hear you. Married the husband and wife taking a walk. You know how the says goes. Two love bars stick together. <laughs> we are two love bars, my brother. Yeah, so I did. I bless God. <laughs> well, Peter, good afternoon. Uh, Vivi, how are you today? I'm fine. It's all about my friend. Oh boy. Uh uh. Have she been able to go see His Holiness in his office? Boy, I'm worried. Yeah, because I remember you telling me she was meant to go see him yesterday. I'm worried. I'm really, really worried. Worried about what? She left since morning and she's not back home. She left before me to go see His Holiness. And I'm back from work and she's not home yet. Have you tried calling her cell phone number? That's the problem. It's switched off. And she didn't tell you she's going to visit anybody. After her, appointment with the holiness. No. My wife doesn't visit people. Yeah, she might be stubborn. Of course, you know she's not the outer type. You should know her better. You're the only friend she has on the visit. So she even visit me. Now that is the problem. Well, well it's okay. Um, Peter, um, you don't have to worry, okay? Maybe we'll go to the church premises and check if she's there. My love, please, I want you to go back to the house and cook me something. While I finish Peter, we'll go check it out. All right, honey. Okay. All right, Peter, please, don't worry yourself too much. Maybe her phone is too short. She's going to get something in the market. Don't yeah. worry, she'll be back. Okay? Well, I hope so. All right, no problem. All right, my love. Okay, honey. I'll be home before you know. Okay. 
Alright. Alright, Peter. Okay. Let's go to the church for me to sit down. Okay. 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 Holiness, give it to God, Peter and Brother James. May the same blessing be upon you and you too. <laughs> a wonderful afternoon to you, Brother Peter and Brother James. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon to Sister yeah. Gochi and Sister Kichi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Did you see my wife in church today? I am sure you remember her because she used to come to my house to bring me messages from His Holiness. Um, of course, we know your wife. I was happy seeing her in church on Sunday and even this morning when she came to see His Holiness. <laughs> Praise be to God. I'm happy she has finally joined our church. We are happy too that she has finally joined us. Yes. Um, did you see her? Is she still anywhere around the premises? No, she left immediately after seeing His Holiness. In fact, I saw her leave. Oh, I see. Are you sure about this? Yes, I think of I saw course. her too. I hope there is no problem. I'm not sure. I, I go home and I didn't meet her. Nepal said she left, she's not back since morning. And her phone is switched off. I don't know what to do. Brother Peter, you don't have to be worried. Your wife is not a baby. Um, I believe she might be home before you get home. Well, I hope so. Trust me, I hope so. So, uh, Brother James, let me hurry back and go back home. No, this place is so that's my place. Maybe you can just take care of me. Anything that worries you. What's wrong with you? Who does that? Listen, I'll follow you to your house to ensure your wife is back. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Sisters. All right, we'll see you some other time. Okay. Okay, take Bye. care. Bye. <laughs> ah, these three brothers, they are inseparable. Inseparable indeed. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoyed it, right? Tell me the truth. Does your husband do it this way? I don't think so. I know you don't enjoy it with him, but don't worry. You have me now. <laughs> You're an animal! <laughs> okay. 
It's like he wants some more. Please, please don't do this to me. <laughs> you are even begging for it. You don't have to beg. I am here with you. I am equal to the task, okay? Please, please, please don't do this to me. Please, please. <laughs> 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 My wife is not here back home and it's 10 p.m. Oh my god. Wait, are you saying she's still not back by this time? <sighs> you need a year word, eh? I asked you for that I should stay and keep you company, but you refused. Ah, no, boy, you know you'll be going to work tomorrow. And moreover, your wife is pregnant. She needs you more. Oh, come on, Peter. You of all people should know that my wife is a very good woman. And she wouldn't complain. Should I come now? Uh, no, 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 don't worry, I'll mind, okay? I'm just calling her to let her know. She's still not yet back home till this time. Please let me go. You have gotten what you wanted. Release me, let me go to my husband, please. <laughs> Alright, you know what, um, if we wait from now until 8 o'clock tomorrow morning and she doesn't show up, we'll go straight to the police. Honey, I mean, why don't we inform His Holiness? Hello? Hello, Peter? Hello? Yeah, yeah, boy, I'm here. Oh, God. My wife just suggested something which is very good. Uh, have you tried calling His Holiness? Oh, yeah, that's true, that's true. Come on, call His Holiness and let him know what's happening. Make it, maybe he could put some calls out and also find out where she could be, okay? Let me call him now. Alright, uh, please do, huh? You don't believe it, I uh, Charlie to doze off with my jeans, huh? I'm so tired, man. Alright, I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Good night. among the people that came to see me today. Uh, yes, Your Holiness. Yes. But the life is not going. It's switched off. Your wife went to her ex-boyfriend's house. Hello? Peter, are you there? Yes, Your Holiness. I have caught her talking to him on two occasions. Well, now you know the truth. Yes, Your Holiness. Thank you. You're welcome. Any time, any day. Bye. Joy. 
Joe, you deceived me. Joe, you told me lies. You told me you would never have anything to do with the maker ever since the day you and I met. You swore to me that you never strip your clothes for another man. Not to talk of having sex. <laughs> Joy, why? Women. Women, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you all. <laughs> so she is Peter's wife. A beautiful woman, a soldier's lady. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> You'll never see her again. She's all mine now. All mine. You know, a boy. You know, when you sent me a text on my phone telling me about her being with her boyfriend, I, I, I thought you were joking. I never took you serious. Woman. They're yeah, unbelievable. Woman, 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 with their insatiable wants. Hmm. You don't just understand them, my brother. One minute you think they're in love with you, the other minute they're something else. What have I done for her since the first day we met? Hmm? The first day I beat her was the day she used that beauty board on his holiness. Before then, I never laid my eyes on her ever since we met and got married. I made sure she lacks nothing. What else does she want from me? What else? So what are we going to do now? What do you expect? Have my bath and get dressed for work. Ah. Are you for real? Ah. Why don't you go to a maker's house and bring your wife back? Why should I? Why won't you do that? She's a wife for crying out loud. I should go after a woman that preferred her ex-boyfriend to her husband. Really? I should go fight the maker. Because of a woman that went to meet him with a little boy. Come on. But you love her. I know you love this woman. Go fight for her love, my brother. I do love her, you're right. But the love died last night. So soon? Yeah, so soon. He died after I received the revelation from his holiness. He died after my cry. He died after my tears pouring down my cheek like I lost my mother again. After that, I wiped my tears and wiped my joy out of my mind and my life. Not anymore. Please, just wait for me. Let me quickly take my shower and get dressed for work, eh? Let me loosen this so that you can go fresh up. 
I'll wrap you up real fast. Stopping ourselves looking for your girlfriend. She's so well enjoying herself with her former boyfriend. We've been worrying ourselves about her when she's so well enjoying herself with a guy. Is that possible? Joy can't do such a thing. I know her well. We've been friends since university days. Well, it's obvious you don't know her like you think you do. As I'm talking to you now, she's in Emeka's house. Who told you guys? The Holiness told us about it. The Holiness told Peter about it yesterday night and Peter sent it through text message to me. His Holiness? Yes, His Holiness. Now you can see how rebellious women can be. How cheat and ungrateful women can be. You better confirm before labeling women names. What do you mean I should confirm? I'm telling you the Holiness has spoken and you're asking, confirming what? When the Holiness has spoken, you know the word of the Holiness is final. It's Emmanuel and his mother is Mary, so we dare not go against his words. Okay, I've heard you. So where is Peter now? Well, Peter has gone to the office, of course. So he didn't go to Emeka's place to confirm himself? What is wrong with you, woman? I am telling you that... Uh... And, and Peter's wife is cheating on him, and you're telling me why didn't he go to Emeka's house to find things for himself? Why would he do that when the Holiness has confirmed everything? Okay, no problem. You better be sorry, because I don't want you to make me angry right now. I'm not, I'm not in a good mood for this, okay? I'm not in a good mood for this. I'm walking. We'll talk later, baby. I love you. Hey, Mecca! <laughs> Take it easy, eh? <laughs> you are so beautiful. You're my queen. I am falling in love with you every minute of the hour. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, this cloak from Yuri, who's wearing it? Nobody's. But it's yours now. Where is your family? I have no family. Christ never had one. Um, your husband called last night and said he was looking for you. What did you tell him? I told him to go to sleep that you went to see your ex-boyfriend. You are wicked! Listen, get back to your usual position. I'm running late. Listen, 
you have to behave yourself. Else, my boys will be rough for you. I promise to behave myself if you don't tie me up. I don't trust you. Oh. Can I? Go ahead, finish your food. Nothing much, except for Brother Peter's wife that is missing. But I have already told him that wherever she is, she is safe. Get up. When last did we do it? She's been gone the whole I know. <laughs> we are going to do it tonight. When everybody is gone. Ah, uh, call the first person. Okay, I'll be Please, who is there? Help me, please! Help me! He was not born like that. The problem started just two weeks ago. He is your only son. My only child, even. I know. Your uncle is responsible. Yes. Your own is starting next week. Your own sickness. He wants to eliminate you and confiscate all your landed properties. Since you are the only surviving son of your father, his late brother. Jesus Christ, Emmanuel. Holy, holy, holy. You have just called my name, Emmanuel. All your problems are over. Amen. Make sure you bring him to service tomorrow morning. Your uncle will be disgraced and the sickness sent back to him. Amen. But I doubt if that young man will come with me. His strength is more than 10 bulls put together. Do whatever you can and bring him to service tomorrow.
Here. You remember me today? You always remember the father of my boy child. How is my boy doing? Going to a man and came up. Follow you. Let's do it now. I know it's been so long. Hold on. Did you find her sooner than I am? That's why you adopted her. I don't understand you. You do. And you know I know you well. Moreover, I was the one that forced her to come and see you. I don't know if it will end up this way. Who exactly are you talking about? You know a lot of women come here to see me every day. The only one you're keeping in your house. The police are everywhere looking for her. Your office was her last point of call. And you know what that means. I agree she's with me. But it would be risky releasing her. She might go out singing like a bird, telling all the story to the police and the press. Don't worry. She's my friend. I know how to handle her, okay? Leave her to me. Okay. I'll release her after service tomorrow. But she insulted me. She slapped me right here in my office when I made advances. I thought she was so sweet that I don't want to let her go. Anyway, I will be leaving to order to come and see you. Don't be in a hurry. Let's do it quick. You need my semen to assist the healthy growth of my son in your womb. After you release her, don't worry. You always have me. She tried to escape. Take her back to the room and tie her properly. <laughs> yes, sir. Please. No. No.
if I join you. What's your name? My name is Patty. Fatima. Fatima. Are you a man or a woman? I'm a woman, of course. Get out of here, idiot. What do I need a woman for? Hmm? You all are just heartless. <coughs> Stupid. Cheat and harlot. Please don't insult me because I want to share a table with you. Then get away. Get away. Go and share a table with your father. That's if you have any. If you insult my father, then I'll break button on your head. You are crazy. Drunk like you. You want to break button on my head? You want to break button on my head? You want to bottle my head? Oh, yeah, break it. Oh, yeah, break it. Break bottle. Hmm? Oga, okay, please come and start going. You are disturbing our customers here. Where are you the customers I'm disturbing? They are the ground floor. Oh, they are the ground floor. So you're driving me away because of this fatty bomb bomb. <laughs> Look at that. She's even by coming. Please go. We don't need customers like you here. Bad girl, make sure you collect your money from him. He's not only us, he pays for a cat one. If I believe it, I live it. All my open bottles. But you did not pay for the empty bottles. What's my business? You are the one driving me away. Hmm? Hi. Women. I hate them. <laughs> Joy. Joy, I will never forgive you. I will never forgive you, Joy. sent you to come and destroy me. Tell her or him or even them that you did not see me. I am too big a fish to be killed with a penny hook. Then you go out on the street, you brag about it and tell your story. You remain here as my sex machine without food or water. <laughs> you pay for all this and the atrocities you've been committing. <laughs> You still have the mouth and the guts to talk back at me. Hey, 
Hey, who's coming? Are you a man or a woman? Brother Peter, are you okay? Can't you see I'm a man? You must be very stupid for asking me that. Can't you just answer a simple question? Are you a man or a woman? I don't blame you. It's not your fault. I can see you are drunk. <clears throat> you are very stupid for saying that. In fact, you are a woman. Get out of my sight. I have important things to take care of. For the fact, his wife left him for another man. It has, has made him drunk. But getting drunk will not really solve the problem. Eh? He just got him more hand than good to himself. Hey, the mother is just abusing women in general. Oh, wow. Uguchi. Uguchi. Hmm? It's morning already. I now have to prepare for church service. Let's forget about this service now. No. No, my presence is needed in the church. We can't forget about this service. Let's have any morning sex. You know it's very good for the health. See, we'll go to maybe next time. I'm exhausted. I am tired. Maybe next time, please. See, we won't go to church late, okay? Please do it. See, no. Have your clothes. <laughs> Kingdom already. No, I'm home. I don't think I'll make it to the kingdom today. What do you mean you don't think you'll make it to the kingdom today? Who is gonna take your position? I mean, why are you leaving that position for? Man, I'm in a sorry state right now. I'm weak and having a serious headache. Everywhere here, yeah, my clothes, all over my body is messed up. Why now? Eh? Why? Why? 
Why do you have to go out and get yourself drunk at a state like this? You want to understand. What do you mean I won't understand? I understand very well and you know it. Man, listen. You need to put yourself together. Hold yourself tight and face life the way it is. You need to be strong for yourself. Man, this is not good, man. This is not good at all. Okay, thank you. So after service then. Okay. Babe, what happened? Man, you'll believe it. Peter went out last night and got himself drunk. Said he's so lazy, has a deck, he won't be able to make it to the kingdom service today. He vomited everywhere. Yeah, hey, poor him. Yeah, you can say that again. <sighs> Baby, hmm? I just don't know what to do for that young man. I'm so confused, I don't know how to help him. I understand what he's going through. <sighs> Baby, hmm? we have to do something to help him. Hmm? We are help. Baby, I don't know what to do for that young man. I'm so confused, I'm telling you. You need you, to be confused. Yeah, if you ask me, well, go ask. That's what we're going to But what is now news is that the head of the Lord's army has refused to come to service because his wife left him for another man. Look at me, brethren. 
take a good look at me. I am the Christ you know and see today. And my name is Emmanuel. My heavenly father's name is Joseph. His wife, Mary. It is not going to be. Not at all. Sister Gretchen. Yes, your wife. Sing me my song. forever your holiness. Peter is your neighbor in the same house. Yes, your holiness. Take two other soldiers of the Lord's family and go to your house and summon Peter to the kingdom immediately. Okay, your holiness. Amen or neighbor. You were not in the service this morning. I cook with my sister. Ah, I hope all is well. You know, my son just suddenly developed a mysterious illness. Hmm? He couldn't speak to anyone. He can't eat, he can't drink water. He now was like a zombie. I have the strength of 12 powerful men in one. Hmm. This is serious and strange. To know, we have tried taking him to different men and women of God to know a there. We even tried taking him to Pastor Emmanuel's church. He flogged all of us out like a, a lot of wood and then ran to the streets. We don't even know where he is now. Oh. Why Pastor Emmanuel's church? That is my husband's idea. Oh, Sister Maria, you are a mother in the Catholic church. You belong to different associations in the church. You know better that any other church except Catholic does not count. My sister, I am confused. I am devastated. I don't know what to do again. Sister, take his case to Father Simon. No case is difficult before him. Okay? Okay. Thank you, my sister. Thank you. Thank you. I know me, huh? Sister Agnes, give him another one. Yes. Can't you see he's fully awake now? No one sleeps in my kingdom. Young man, stand up. You don't have a job and you have not eaten since yesterday. Yes, your holiness. Somebody please give this young man 200,000 Naira. Your Holiness, I will do just that. Young man, once the service is over, you come to my car and have it.
You, stand up. Who are you? Why is your hair unmade and your clothes in tatters? My kingdom is not for unkept and tattered looking people. Somebody please, give this woman 500,000 Naira to jumpstart her life. Um, I'm so sorry for what happened minutes ago. I'll give her the money. Um, send in your account details. I will transfer the money immediately. Thank you. Who am I? You are the Christ of our times. And what is my name? Emmanuel. Sister Nkechi? Yes, your holy name. Somebody has eaten the forbidden fruit. Somebody has committed fornication. And we all know that the Bible condemns it. Sister Gochi. Yes, Your Holiness. And Brother Ben. Your Holiness. Forgive me, Your Holiness. She lured me into it, Your Holiness. It's a lie, Your Holiness. He lured me into it. He invited me to his house and forcefully slept with me. You ate the forbidden fruit. You ate the apple. You ate the lulu. Why? Why did you eat the lulu? Church, can someone tell me the meaning of Lulu? You see? Nobody here knows what is Lulu. But now, Ben and Lugochi, you have made everyone know the meaning of Lulu. And you will pay. The Lord's army! Yes, Your Holiness. Take them to the holy ground. Have mercy, Your Holiness, please. Forgive me, Your Holiness. I will do it. Forgive me, Your Holiness. This is what you say. Lulu. I will do it again, Your Holiness. Oh, Lulu. Please, have mercy, Your Holiness. Lulu. 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 Oh, Lulu. Hey. Lulu. Lulu. I said, Buna, your girl. I say,
Mr. Henry Owa, why are you coming to my church late? My son refused to come with me to the church. I and my wife did everything possible to drag him down to this place. But he refused. Right now he's nowhere to be found. Uh, he flung us like a doors and got us injured. That is the reason I'm here late. He injured you and your wife? Yes, sir. Address him as his holiness. Twice. Slap him again and again and again. The Lord's army. Yes, sir. Bring him forward. Give him 36 strokes of the royal lashes and make him realize that this is my kingdom and I am the king here.
See why I always tell you to have patience till we get married. What if we had done it? We would have entered into his hands. But how do you find out about all the happenings? He is not ordinary. He is a spirit. Even as I'm talking to you, I am sure he's aware. That is not true. I'm sure somebody fits in with all these happenings. Huh. I am very close to him. He is a spirit. Let's do this here. Let's do it. Here? Yeah. Are you out of your mind? Nobody comes to this part of the compound. Hmm. Let's do it. Listen, please don't. He would not spare us if he finds out. Come on. Leave me alone. Listen, I want to find out if he's still free. No, please, please stop. Mm -hmm. He will be so mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What are you telling me, Solomon? Huh? Solomon, what are you saying? That Nkechima, most trusted, has now joined them. What is wrong with the libido of my members? Huh? Oh, Lulu. Lulu! Solomon, make sure you tie Nkichi up properly and burn her up with the rest of them. Did you hear what I said? Yes. Huh. Lulu. 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 Oh, my God. 
Madam, his holiness said that he's not in the mood to see anybody today. Did you tell him that it's Vivian? Are you deaf? He said that he's not in the mood to see anybody today. Now wait for him to come out. I'm advising you to leave immediately. Tell him I have no option than to call the police. Unbelievable. That's a threat. And his holiness will not tolerate this. Tell him to go to blazes. What? Yes. What do you know about his holiness that you don't know? Come on, speak, my friend. That's one that calls himself the savior of our generation. He's the father of my unborn child. What? He adopted Peter's wife. He's responsible for the pregnancies of the all pregnant and nursing mother in this how we call the kingdom. That thing he dangles it between his stars. It's a baby making machine. Any woman he sleeps with gets pregnant. It's the devil incarnate. No, it's a lie. His holiness is too righteous to be unrighteous. He's quite a saint. Stephen, take her to the Holy Ground and burn her alive with others. Go ahead and burn me alive. Burn me. But know is that he's responsible for the pregnancy of Uche Bato's wife. Okay? Bato must hear this. What is happening here? And who are you? Who authorized you to enter my abode and free her? Someone talk to me. What is going on here? Ah. Ah. Oh, my head. So you're still alive? Found me. Maria, so you found me. You have to come and see my people and pay my bread price. I can't afford this pregnancy again. Uh, that is business of yours. I don't want to come and see your parents. I'm not getting married now. It's too early for me, please. Ubin, but you said you love me. I'm your queen. Your love. Yes, it's true, but it's not for marriage. It's not for marriage. It's too early for me now. I will have to tell my parents. <laughs> I can't abort this pregnancy again. I've done it six times for you. <laughs> that is your business. Must you get pregnant whenever I sleep with you? Is it my fault? <laughs> is it my fault? <laughs> oh, yeah, come, come, come. I have agreed. Uh, come to the house tomorrow. Let's plan our marriage. Thank you, babe. I know you won't let me down. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I'm looking for Patrick. Oh, Patrick. He's no more there. I woke up this morning, he's not there, but he's not there. That means he's gone. You mean he's not coming back again? Very likely he's not coming back because initially he told us that his father owns the house. We now find out that his father does not own the house. So he has gone, he's gone. He, he, has, he has gone the way he came. 
Oh, so what's the, the, the problem? <laughs> I'm pregnant for him. Oh, serious. Very serious. <laughs> Very serious. <laughs> Maria, this one you're crying. As Patrick disappointed you. <laughs> I told you to marry me and you refuse. <laughs> Look at it now. Oh, shame on you. Come on, beautiful girls don't cry. Cheer up. Thank you. What is your name? I'm Henry Owa from the next village. I'm Mario Kegi. You are very beautiful. Actually, I'm walking around the village here in search of a wife, and I think I'll find her. Are you sure? Won't you run away like others? Because I know all men are the same. My dear, all men are not the same and I can prove that to you. I don't know what must have been your experience in the past. Or even the reason why a beautiful girl like you should be crying on the road. All I know is that I'm here to take away your tears and soul. Take me to your parents. Maria, Maria, oh my god, they're having fever. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to be a father. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that is the idiot. in my house, eh? It would work for you. Make sure you go back to your parents from there. Idiot. I have been deceived for years, thinking that Dike was my son. If but one of Pastor Emmanuel's henchmen did not tell me what happened at the pastor's house, how would I have known the truth? How would I have known that I'm not the biological father of DK? Women are dangerous wicked and heartless 
Only a woman knows the true father of her child. How am I going to pretend? How will this marriage work? For how long am I going to pretend that Dike is my son? No, it just can't work. They have to go. They have to go. This marriage is over. I swear with my life, since I got married to you, no man has seen my private parts. But talk about having sex with me. Yes, Patrick was the first man that had sex with me. Then you are the first man that I love. And the last. Yes, if you decide to chase me away, I will not have anything to do with any man. I love you, Ivy. And I always do. I kept the secret for years. Because when I met you, I fell in love with you at first sight. And I was so afraid not to lose you. That is why I conceal the pregnancy for you. <laughs> I don't think it will work. It just can't work. The best thing is for us to go our separate ways. I will give you enough money that will take care of the two of you. For you to start life at the end. Please Please, please forgive me. Remember you're the one that talked me into going to see him. Please forgive me. Did I ask you to go sleep with him? He forced me. There is nothing like force in this matter. This is bullshit. What do you mean he forced you? Any woman that doesn't want to make love to a man will not go with you. Okay, let me agree he forced you. Why did you shout? Why did you scream so that everybody around can come and see what he was doing? Why did you shout? You see your life? You were busy enjoying sex with him. That was why you refused to shout. How many times did you do it? Is it once? Is it twice? Or is it twice? You see? You were busy enjoying it. So how this one you're going to his office to see him? You were busy having sex with him. Oh, that is it. You see? Oh, now I see. Now I see why his loneliness always talk about Lulu. Ah! So this is the Lulu. Eh? So this is the Lulu! This is the Lulu! All the while you were busy going to the office, he kept on digging you in and out. He kept on eating your Lulu! He has been eating your Lulu! You see your life? Let me tell you, you are a disgrace to woman. And let me tell you, first thing tomorrow morning, my lawyer is going to serve you a divorce letter. Are you with me? It's over between us. I am done with this marriage. Look at you! Your Lulu has expired! Lulu! What? What is it? Let me tell you. The news is all over town. The news has boomed around. Everybody now knows who you are. Nonsense. Look at you. Your Lulu is not smelling. Your Lulu is sour. Lulu. Peter. Why do you have to leave me? How am I going to live without you? We may quarrel and fight, but we are inseparable. Pastor Emmanuel, why do you have to come between us? You shall never go unpunished. Your death will be more painful than that of my husband, Peter. <laughs> God, please. I don't carry a child for this devil's incarnate. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs>
Mom, why packing your things and crying? Go pack your things, my little miss. Oh, what? Where are we going to? Is that the going with us? Your dad is not going with us. He said we should leave the house or oh, that. Or that what? To answer me. Or that what? You two are not going anywhere. In those sense. We are one happy family and that we will remain. I love you and I will continue to love you till the end of time. Even millions of Pastor Samuel cannot stop me from loving you and cannot stop us, cannot even put this family asunder. I love you, I swear I do. <laughs> I love you too. Son? Yes, Dad. Come here, son. Come. Love you, Dad. I love you too. Mom? Love you too. This is my son. You are my son. And that you will remain. Yes, Dad. Nothing can stop me from yes, having you as a son. Love you, Dad. Love you. Love you.